<laughs> Hi, I'm Paddy from Churchman Sheepdogs. Uh, maybe you haven't heard of us, but if you're on Facebook, you probably can't avoid us. So, I just want to tell you anyway what, what it is that we kind of do with Churchman Sheepdogs. Um, I, I'm a sheepdog trainer and I like to trial, but I probably like training more than anything. And I also like talking to people. So, you might have seen some of my videos on, on Churchman where um, I'm interviewing handlers or or maybe a stick maker, David Davies is on here. Uh, we've got a nice interview with him in his workshop showing us how he makes horns and stuff like that. And even then, uh, Brian Newbert, the cowboy over in Nevada, we've got him on here too, you can see him. And so all those videos on YouTube, well obviously they're all free. And then uh, there's even some training videos in there, the kind of ones that I make for my Patreon account. Um, I'll see about the Patreon in a second. But the other thing, I don't know if some people aren't aware of this, when I started making interviews first, they were always uh, just audio ones, so they're on SoundCloud. And so we've got some good fellas in there. We've got we've got Serge van der Sweep. He could be talking for an hour on it. And Alistair McRae, I think he's on a you know sort of similar kind of length. But we've got lots of interesting people in there talking to us. Neil Gillen, Viola Hebler, Sue Main, uh, too many to mention there. But what they're handy for is if you're I don't know if you're hanging around in an airport or I don't know if you're waiting for something or or if you're driving somewhere alone. You know they're nice. They're, it's just. Well, the reason I made him was I was having the conversation anyway, and I thought it'd be nice for maybe people who are, you know, a long way away from other sheepdog handlers to have somebody that while they couldn't maybe talk to him, they could listen to him. So that's why we made those SoundCloud ones. But there's another thing I make, and I'm not sure everybody's aware of it. I have a kind of a training, uh, training page, or well, it's on Patreon anyway. Patreon is the name of the channel, and. But it's not free, it's, it is a subscriber one. I think it costs about $10 a month. So really, it's probably the equivalent of, of auditing at a clinic maybe is the equivalent of having six months access to my Patreon account. But the Patreon account, it isn't really a how to train sheepdogs. It's more um, whatever dogs I have at the moment, whatever I'm doing, I let you look at, look at what I'm doing in my training uh, and where I'm at with sheepdogs. So, Initially, I started out with a dog called Dex there back around last December. And I said, uh, at, at the very start, I said I was going to train him and publicly everyone could see, well, everyone on Patreon could see. And I was going to train him publicly and show him all, because he had some faults too. I was going to show how I dealt with those and fixed those. But showed all the stages along and then show him sell at Skipton. My plan was to sell him in Skipton. So in May, I took him to the auction in May and you can even find that on the Patreon account where he sold. Well, he actually sold outside the ring, you know, don't tell anybody. But he sold outside the ring, uh, but you can see him selling in the ring and, and the whole auction process. So that's Dex. And then, well, before I sold Dex, I'd started on a nice young dog called Ralph. Uh, a dog with a lot of white on him. He's a curly spot grandson. And so I had a sort of a different plan with Ralph. I said I'd train Ralph up for the nurseries and show you all the steps. And Because, you know, Ralph learned a little differently. He had different issues with learning his flanks and things like that. And... Uh, so I show that all the way up long and then actually show them running in some nursery trials. And in fact, we're going to Holland in about two weeks time. The three of us are going over and we're going to run in the European nursery. And so I'll have Ralph there running in that. Uh, so hopefully he'll do well there. And I'll probably get somebody to video it too. But, so that's Ralph. And then in the middle of training Ralph, I had this nice bitch called Bess. And I made three training videos of her. She, <laughs> I don't think Bess even knew her own name, but she definitely didn't know what lie down means and she didn't know come by or away or any of that kind of stuff and so I started her in the round pen and I show how I start and how how I communicate with well really like they all learn with body language first and so I show that and I show how we put verbal commands on that and how we move on and progress with it so but there's only three videos of her because she came into season and I was kind of keen to breed her to my birth dog so she had a little break there and she'll be coming back in again probably soon and then what do we do after that oh Oh, I bought a, a bitch called Nell. I bought her back around the middle of December. Nell's a lovely bitch, but she had some big faults. And most people won't tell you what the faults are in their dog. And they certainly won't show you. But with Nell, I, I made a video to highlight her faults. And so, well, the faults as I perceived, perceived them. Uh, and so she had a couple of big ones there. But we've been working on those and I'm showing how, how, how I fix them, how I go about getting them out of her and, and how we communicate with her so that she doesn't need to do those things. And I tr show that and I try and explain it as best I can. But all that's there in the videos and like the lovely thing is you can go back to this time last year and start with Dex and see how he progresses up along and 
uh, and then Ralph and then that best bitch and we also put in some stuff in the middle too if we if we have an interesting bit of a, an interview or some bit of insight we'd like to share you know kind of privately in, in the Patreon group uh, I do that and so our next few videos what I plan to do in, in the next couple of months is more puppy videos I have a couple of pups that I got you know stud pups that I got back I have a nice one there by Jim and I have one by my own Bert dog and so I have a couple of those to start and then my buddy John Heffernan he has a couple as well uh, I actually gave him a nice Bert pup but uh, somebody saw it on YouTube and wanted to buy it so we sold him but he ha I, and he has another one and now he has another dog by uh, well it's a bit hard to explain anyway but you'll see them in the videos if you're a patron you'll see them in the videos you'll see how we start them and they even put the mic on uh, even put the mic on John there. I don't think he's too happy about it. But so we get a little bit of his insight too. And it's not a how to train a pup. It's how we train pups and how we start them and how we try to explain the philosophy and how we see it and the thinking behind it. So we'll have those videos coming up fairly soon. And and every dog I take, it's always the same philosophy that I use. But we might change the methods, but it's always the same philosophy and, and the philosophy is all about uh, two fellas influenced me. First one was Ray Hunt, the cowboy. You can hear Brian uh, Brian Newbert talks a little bit about Ray. I was real privileged to meet Brian because he worked with Ray years ago and uh, Ray is not around anymore. But Ray Hunt put an idea into me about 25 years ago and he said, he said, make the right thing easy and the wrong thing hard and set it up. And now he was talking about horses, training horses. But it's the same principle. He said, set it up to win. So we can do that with outruns, we can do that with shedding, we can do that with anything we go about doing. Is to set it up to win, set it up for the dog to win, and the goal is to communicate, to get him, get the penny to drop for the dog so that he knows it. And, uh, and then we have a lovely solid foundation, it's not a mechanical thing like. So that was Ray Hunt, and then the other guy who had a fierce influence on me was Bart Bellin, and uh, I like Bart Bellin a lot. Um, it might be a slightly more controversial character there, but then he does train kind of police sport dogs and things like that and so it's not the same game but it is the same principles it's always and his methods might be different but it's always the same principles and a few things Bart said that I really like but he always says question question yourself I think Bart says he's got five or six languages he's a Belgian guy but he, he, when I heard him he said questionize yourself always questionize yourself so I, I always try to questionize myself the trouble often I see some good trainers and and they stop questioning after a while or they stop listening or they stop I think the questions are questions always keep you hungry and keep you learning so Bart always said questionize yourself but the thing that Bart said and let's see how can I explain it one of the things that Bart said that always stuck with me is the dog can't improve his situation by doing the wrong thing so he was actually talking to me about I had a, a handler aggressive German Shepherd that would bite you and all when you were trying to train him and he said you know if the dog bites you, it can't improve his situation. As in, if you're doing something he doesn't like and he bites you and you go away, well, he's improved his situation. So that's the principle of bar to be talking about. So if my dog is cutting in on its outrun, well, I can't allow it to have its sheep and improve its situation and have its sheep. I have to correct it and, and make it go through me to reward itself. That's pretty much, the, the, that's kind of the way I communicate all this with, with dogs. That's, so that's, that, that's, anyway, that's kind of pretty much the number of it there. But yeah, Bart and Ray were the, my two big influences and I didn't have any big, you know, bolt of lightning sort of awakening or anything like that. But I had a lot of those little light bulb moments and I went to a couple of Bart seminars and, and it's like he turned on all the lights in the house and I was awake for a week after it. But uh, it was a lot of food for thought. So Brian Newbert says it real well. He was quoting Tom Dorrance and he said, uh, he said, often he said, the thing you're trying to figure out and the thing you're trying to fix on the horse and all, he said, you'll figure out how to do it when, when maybe you're not within 100 miles of the horse. That's the way Brian said it. And uh, I, I like that one. I like to try and think about it, try and set it up to win, try and set it up to communicate with the dog, not just right off the fault. There are a lot of people doing that there. Oh, he's too tight in the top, or oh, he's this or that, or he's not shedding properly. But I think we kind of have to look at ourselves first. But that's my whole philosophy on it. And that's Patrick. So if you'd like to subscribe to my Patreon channel, well, sure, I'd be delighted. But, you know, I'm going to be do training these dogs anyway. And so I'd love you to come in and take a, take a look. And then 
like if, if you don't if it's not for you uh, of course you can always unsubscribe you know you're not locked into it <laughs> but uh but yeah you can you can be a fly on the wall if you want or well i love if you ask me some questions or if you've got some issues that you like addressed or you want to give me a video or whatever um uh, you know that, that kind of participation is is welcome so that's the deal i'm going off now to prepare uh, for the european nursery i'm going off to meet a buddy of mine and we're going to do a bit of school and we're going to try and set up a situation just to mirror a little bit about a little bit like what we're going to meet when we go to holland and i might even make a video about that to show our preparation how we prepare for this particular trial i meant to do it last year but i sort of ran out of time before actually last year we got ninth in it last year so hopefully we can improve on it a bit this year it'd be nice to get up on the podium there somewhere i keep talking about it but uh, well as you can hope anyway so regardless whether you want to sign up to patreon or not all that stuff is there it's a resource for you uh, you've got youtube is free soundcloud is free uh, anything i've got on my website obviously is free and even some of the stuff on patreon is free uh, there's some there's some posts there that you can go in and have a look around and you're watching this now on youtube probably so if you'd like you can subscribe there you won't miss any of the stuff we put up and uh, and if you want to leave a comment too uh, that's more than welcome so thank you very much for watching